Hey guys, I'm Eclipse, and today I'm going to be explaining the story from Season 1 all the way through live events and updates all the way up to Season 2 of the Eclipse. Let's get into it. It all started on December 30th, 5021. The time was 9.15am, and the Eclipse was created. The Eclipse is a side story of Fortnite. It was created during the collapse of Island Apollo, which is most known as the Chapter 2 map. During the collapse of Apollo, a weird seismic rift happened. It transported the Loopers and the IO, which are now called the CO, to a new island. But the reality was split, the zero point was split, and the island was split. But the Looper project was still going strong, and with one of those Loopers comes one of the members of the Seven. The Visitor was also transported there during the collapse of Chapter 2. The Visitor has never seen anything like this. Frankly, it's never happened before, and it probably won't ever happen again. So, the Visitor gathered some loopers, Patty Davidson and Eclipse, who is also known as Agent John Jones, one former member of the I.O. So, the Visitor, with the help of the two loopers, he constructed a plan to free themselves from the loop and destroy the zero point, but the zero point was split. The CEO and Loopers had a new island to explore, and frankly, to conquer, but the Looper project felt like it was running on fumes. Loopers could keep memories from other loops, and the CEO and the Loopers can talk to each other, which has never happened in a loop before. So the CEO started gathering a plan while the Loopers had some fun. During week one, a mysterious machine was spotted in a cave near a CO base. The loopers were going forward with their mining plan and constructed a mining facility next to a weird mountain, and soon we'll find out why. The cracks had exposed the island, so the CO needed to create a bridge to go across it, so it was completed just a week later. But the loopers were keeping eye and watch out on it. Something else being constructed was a rocket on a CO base. No one knew why a rocket was being built, but it was to mean danger for the island and for the loopers ahead during the future. Week 2 came around and the mysterious machine was gone. It frankly disappeared from the cave that it was once in. The loopers were frankly scared and the leader of the loopers, John Jones, was imprisoned during a recall mission with the visitor and they were entrapped inside a weird mysterious vault. So the loopers started the looper initiative to break the vault open and free them. The loopers had to break open the vault to get them free, so they had to solve puzzles during the week. The clip and the and the nice. and Good morning, loopers. What a wonderful day, isn't it? To manipulate an entire resistance. The visitor wasn't helping you. The CEO was. And now we know that you're breaking into the vault tomorrow. Well, good luck. Because when you find out what we have, nothing will remain. In week three, the loopers were manipulated by the CO, which was a great plan by Dr. Sloan. But during the weird rift in the black hole and the collapse of chapter two, one of Dr. Sloan's great friends and great officials, General Grant, was trapped inside the black hole. So Dr. Sloan and some of her great and smart scientists gathered the device that was hidden in the cave of the CO base to rift him to the island. So they booted up the rift machine and the zero point was being destabilized. The rift machine was harnessing the power of the zero point and destroying it piece by piece. The loopers were in awe and shock, but they knew that this was the time to strike and free Eclipse and the visitor while getting the device inside the lab. So, Patty Davison, who was the new leader of the loopers, constructed a plan and gathered some of her generals and great friends to free Eclipse and the visitor from their imprisonment inside the lab's vault. During looper scouter missions, they found a rift opening up above the pizza parlor on the island, and they also found that a CO scouting mission was being planned and was heading somewhere. The rocket was in its next stage of completion, and it was almost completed in a few weeks' time. And some 
cool music gear was spotted over by the beach. This led up to attempt 13 of none other than the rescue. During the afternoon of the rescue, CEO scouting missions were happening outside the vaulted lab, but now that the vault was open, the Looper's team can finally free Eclipse and the visitor from their imprisonment. So, Blackout and General Felix went inside the lab, destroying any CO agent and anything in their way from Eclipse. When they finally met Eclipse, they constructed a plan. They told Eclipse that the only way to get out of the lab was to run through everything. Bombs, explosions, anything that got in their way, they just had to run past it. Once they finally got to the vaulted lab's entrance, they opened it up and they went outside. They took one of the CO's helicopters and left. But during the rescue, they spotted a weird, mysterious energy orb, and no one knew what it meant. This led into week four, and after the rescue, the Looper's team couldn't stop the device from rifting General Grant to the island and stopping its catastrophic event to the island. And the famous pizza parlor that was being rifted actually changed into the prehistoric era. It went back so much in time, it brung things from the prehistoric era. It brung bones, it brung prehistoric plants, and it brung prehistoric raptors. The loopers were shocked because they couldn't leave the island because of the raptors hunting them down. So the loopers just had to wait it out and hopefully let the zero point heal. The device was gone, it was missing, and the CO scouting mission was finally reaching its final stages, or that's what the loopers thought. It reached sunken shores with a trailer holding what people thought was the device. So the CO used parts of the device and miniaturized it to grow the rocket into its final stage and completing it for the week ahead. The music gear over by the beach was growing and it was looking professional. The zero point was hibernating, it was sleeping, it was down, it wasn't up. So the loopers could actually leave the island, but the raptors were hunting them. Week 5 came along and the island was preparing for the catastrophic event ahead. The zero point awoke and with its awakening, the cracks grew and a mountain fell down, unveiling a fortress and a castle holding a mysterious person called the Knighted King. He looked for revenge and he was struck with madness across the island. He was preparing itself for battle on the battlegrounds. He was actually fighting against the CO for destroying his home and imprisoning him inside his own castle. He was working for the Loopers and he knew that with the help from the Loopers and with him helping the Loopers, he could finally destroy the CO and save the island. The reason why they were battling against each other on the battlegrounds was because the device sprung up in a lake and the loopers were in shock because what they heard from the CEO was scary. They were trying to rift a monster to the island to kill all of the loopers and anyone in their way, but the Knight of King did not want that to happen. So with his powerful and mysterious blade called the J-Blade, he constructed a plan with the leader of the Loopers, Eclipse, and was going to destroy the CEO without any mercy. The prehistoric forest was actually returning to green from the zero point. The music gear was actually stopping production, and the rocket was ready for launch. Week 6 came along, and the CEO's rocket was launching. The CEO's plan was to launch the rocket into space, and for it to go inside the rift gather the monster and bring it back to the island, destroying any enemies in the CEO's way. Dr. Sloan had this plan from the very beginning of the eclipse and was going to destroy all the loopers because she knew that if anything, any of her steps decided to go wrong, the rocket would finally destroy the loopers and she can finally regain the control of the looper project. So during the rocket's launch, the Knight of King actually planned his attack. He landed on top of the rocket and blew off one of the thrusters. This feared the rocket's course off majorly. The rocket without one of the thrusters went down spiraling to the device. The device blew up 
and the event, the catastrophic failure to the island and to that lake of the battlegrounds was atomized. It turned into a desert and the device was finally destroyed as well with the rocket. Dr. Sloan was furious. She thought that no one could stop her plan to killing all of the loopers and to restart the looper project. Dr. Sloan mourned over the device's failure, and she felt betrayed by the device. She was so furious, she would destroy any looper in her way, even if it took her a thousand, five thousand, ten million more years. If she can regain the control of the looper project, this would make Geno way more happier. The vaulted lab was shut, but no one knew who was in it, and the primal forest fully turned back to green. The CO weren't done yet though, they had one more attack inside their arsenal to destroy the loopers. While they were doing that, the loopers and the knighted king prepared for battle and celebration afterwards. The island was becoming extremely unstable, so the loopers had to act quick. Week 7 showed the CEO's final plan to rift the monster to the island. The Knighted King and the Loopers were in awe as they saw the device still running. But how can the device still be rifting the monster to the island? It can still be weakening the zero point and destroying the Loopers. Well, the CEO's final plan was actually using the remnants of the device and the destroyed rocket to create the makeshift device. During the device and during the rifting of the monster, the CO and the loopers actually gathered zero point energy. This caused the island to go into a zero state. They can make zero items, and these items actually controlled the zero point. While using them, it destabilized the zero point so much, the zero point can collapse at any moment. Week 8 was the final week of season 1, and Dr. Sloan still had the visitor imprisoned inside the vaulted lab. And during this, the leader of the Loopers, Eclipse John Jones, instructed Blackout to free the visitor from his imprisonment to help the Knighted King in his efforts to destroy the Warhawks, which were surrounding the Zero Point, killing and destroying anything trying to enter the Zero and freeing themselves from the Loop. Everything and everyone was ready for the final battle ahead. The Knighted King started the final battle and he was filled with rage, and he didn't want the Looper's home and his island to be destroyed and killed by the monster. He knew that if the CO rifted the monster to the island, not even the CO could control it, and they would finally perish after the devastating loss of Dr. Sloan if the monster actually killed her. So, with the Knight of King and the Looper's plan in play, they started the final battle, they mourned over their losses, and they showed no mercy for the CO. The Knighted King gave his remarks and decided to attack the first Warhog who was surrounding the Zero Point on the island. He forgave the Red Knight and finally attacked the Warhogs. He was trapped behind a tree, didn't know what to do because the Warhogs were extremely powerful, but he remembered Eclipse giving him a grenade and it exploded underneath the Warhog, exploding the Warhog and defeating it. The Knight of King actually saw one more off guard and destroyed it with ease, but there were still three more to go, and these three Warhogs were extremely powerful than the other two. He tried dodging the bullets and running away as fast as he could. The three Warhogs entrapped the Knight of King in one corner, but during this, five minutes earlier, inside the CO's vaulted and most protected lab inside every reality that they were in, the vaulted lab looked open. The visitor was shocked. Seeing dust fall from the sky, he thought that the island was being destabilized and collapsing. He didn't know what was going up there. He heard a noise outside his cell and thought it was Dr. Sloan, but it was none other than Blackout, who was instructed to free the visitor by Eclipse. Blackout told the visitor everything that was happening with the Loopers and the island. The CO and the Loopers were at war and they needed to help the Knighted King at once. 
so they ran past all of the dead bodies that Blackout professionally killed, and the visitor was instructed that the Zero was actually blooming and they needed to hurry quick. The visitor and Blackout said their final goodbyes as the visitor took one of the CO's helicopters to the final battle. He knew that the CO was destabilizing, and he knew that the Knight of King would be there, so he had a plan constructed before he even set foot on the island. The Knight of King was in shock, and the visitor told him the plan. With the plan, the Knight of King and the visitor destroyed not one, but two warhogs surrounding the Zero Point. Only one was left, and they finally, finally had a chance to stop Ceo's control of the Zero Point. But during their final attack, the visitor's armor was pierced by a bullet from the last Warhog. They were deeply sad. The Knight of King thought the visitor would die. And unfortunately, the visitor left the island and died inside the loop. The monster was still being rifted here and was almost ready to kill every looper on the island. The Knight of King would not let that happen, so with his final plan, he grabbed the J-Blade and said for the visitor. The Knight of King plunged himself and the J-Blade towards the Zero. Dr. Sloan knew what he was doing and she instructed the final Warhog on the island to destroy the Knight of King, but it was too late. They were going too fast and they destroyed the Zero. But with the J-Blade harnessing the power of the Zero Point, it actually destroyed the CEO's lab. The Zero Point was split. Once again, the island was split, and the story was going to be continued inside of Eddie Teddy's season of season two.